What are your thoughts on this matchup with Texas? Oh uh, yeah, they're a really good team. Um, they have really good guards, uh, athletic, and you know, they really box out and grab a lot of rebounds. So I mean, it's going to be a very good game. They're a really good team. Yeah. Is there any team that um, you played that um, reminds you of Texas at all? Yeah, they're, uh, they play like Illinois and a little bit of Michigan. So, you know, so it's going to be an interesting matchup. We're going to have to keep them off the glass and try and make it more of a half court game for us. Yeah, um, both teams obviously having plenty of experience um, and um, talent. When you get two teams um, like on that, what does a game like this come down to? Uh, basically the little things. It's always going to come down to the little things. We feel like we're both going to execute our game plans. We're really good teams on both sides, well coached. So basically, you know, who's going to make more winning plays at the end of the game? Yeah. Um, last night, it um, really seemed like um, every, like everything was working on for you guys. So, um, what happened on um, last night? Made shots. <laughs> Simple like that. You know, yeah. Make shots, you're really good, especially with the model threes we see. Yeah, absolutely. Um, how how does that help you guys? Um, having um an offense that um is so difficult for teams to prepare for on a quick turnaround. That was really important, you know, when we're out there and we're spraying the ball around, people are chasing us, like they said, you know. Um, it's going to allow us to really make shots and make people take the ball on them. They have to play against a set defense, and if they don't score, we're back in transition, playing our brand. So mm -hmm. um, that's what we try to get into a lot, you know. we got to hold teams for one shot only, and then we got to go out on the other end, move the ball, and get wide open looks. Yeah, and it seemed like that was a lot of what you guys did um, when A&M was trying to cut into the lead and couldn't really do anything. Yep, definitely. That's what I mean. That's what our game plan has been and on this win streak. We feel like we've done a good job of that. Yeah. Um, how is um, this um, stretch that you guys have been on of um, playing so many um, tight games, so many um, pressure situations helped you um, get to this moment? It's great, you know. It, it's March. You know? We felt like we've been in March for two months now, you know. Yeah. Just really locking in on each team, taking it one game at a time, trying to go 1-0 and, oh, and, you know, get better each and every game. Yeah. Did that make it um, easier to play last night um, since you guys have been facing this for so long? Um, yeah, definitely. So coming out, um, we had some nerves, we had some feeling out period to see how they were going to play us and what the different things we were going to do. So like we said, we feel like we can beat anybody in the country. We're going to come out, we're going to prepare hard, we're going to play our style of basketball, and then at the end we'll see what happens. Yeah. How How is what you've all been through in the Big Ten you know, prepare you for a game against a team like Texas? Yep, Big Ten, you know, it's a lot of big, a lot of athletic teams. So we've already played against the teams that are taller than us and bigger than us. And we've beaten a couple of those teams that we also lost to them. So we know that, you know, anytime we can get out rebound or something like that, then we have a good chance. But if we can keep the glass close and keep our turnovers down and keep the possession down close, we should have a good chance for it. Yeah, without giving anything away, what's on Micah's message been to you guys? Guard and rebound and make shots. All year we've been saying the same thing. Yeah, doesn't really get more simple than that. Yes, sir. All right.